Kamala wants the United Nations to solve the border crisis problem Biden caused. This is a topic report, and this uh, I'm going to call this video, VP Kamala Harris begs UN to rescue U.S. from border crisis triggered by Biden policies. And the topic report is Kamala Harris, border crisis, United Nations. There she is. Does she look so happy there if you're watching the video? She looks so wonderful and joyful in her little smuggeries. I, I, uh, I, I, I'm not supposed to loathe a human being, and, and by God's grace, I will uh, find a way to overcome that. Uh, but I, I can at least say I loathe what she does. I loathe what she represents. I loathe the, the privilege that this woman came from and how she came from such privilege and now in the, in the position of the supremest privilege in the land, well, next to Biden, she continues to browbeat and moral supremacize to we the poors as if we haven't suffered enough, as if we haven't experienced enough diminishment compared to her privilege to, 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 to dare dream that we might have a good life in the here and now. So this woman, she represents so many things about what's going on in this country that, that I grieve over. This uh, top story here link is from Red State. Kamala Harris plans to get on her knees and beg the U.N. to handle the border crisis. I like what they write here. Oh, by the way, Red State is, is as I put out here, they're a, right, they're a conservative right group. Uh, but as conservatives go, they're, they're less offensive than, than, than many other right-leaning sites. I'm not saying that they, they, they're not given to their shrilleries and their their own manipulations tickling the ears of people rather than speaking hard truth and pragmatic truth but as as these uh as these uh, conservative sites go they're they're one of the least offensive uh, alleged borders are vice president kamala harris appears to uh, alleged, alleged borders are that's a that's a good phrase uh, vice president kamala harris appears to be already bored with her new role almost three weeks after president joe biden announced that he would was tasking her with getting the migrant crisis under control, she seems ready to delegate that task to the international community. Perhaps she's got better ideas, or I don't know what says. So, what is her solution? Based on her conversation with media activist Dana Bash, she wishes to outsource much of the effort of the, to the United Nations, which is the very paragon of competence and morality. The United Nations, which recently they they allowed Iran to sit on a panel, to sit on whatever committee panel, whatever it's called, a women's rights panel. Iran. Iran. The mullahs in Iran will arrest women for not wearing, for, for wearing things that fall outside of the, the, the very, very extremist uh, Islamo-fascist uh, uh, dress code. And yet the United Nations let them on that board. So, so that's what we're talking about. That's the United Nations. We're going to be increasing the requ i tell you what the United Nations really is. It, it is, well, what it is becoming. It is really becoming more and more the play tool of the cor corpo state nationalists. Specific, well, on one hand, the corpo state nationalists on the one side, which are enemies of the American king, King Bill, Bill of Rights. And on the other side, Ne uh, well, actual traditional nationalists like China and Russia, and they're they're just just basically tools for these organizations to undermine human liberty the world over, and to give it uh, a nice little moral flavor of uh, we're healing the world, we're feeding the poor, whatever crap they use to justify their thuggeries. So she says here, we're going to be increasing the request that we're making of our allies in the United Nations, Harris said. This is about the Western Hemisphere. We are a neighbor in the Western Hemisphere. We have the capacity to actually get in there if we are consistent. Part of the problem is that under the previous administration, they pulled out essentially a lot of what has been the continuum of work, and it, it, and it essentially came to a standstill. I'll look at a little bit more for this one. So... Let's see here. So what is her solution? Okay, I read that. Harris continued insisting that the United States must institutionalize and inter internationalize the migration issues. 
institutionalize and internationalize. That's a lot of gobbledygook, meaning nothing. It just means basically that we're going to continue to use the migrant crisis that we created to instill fear and hate in we the poors so that we willingly hand over our freedoms to these corporate corpo state nationalists. And she is a corpo state nationalist. She's not an American. She's a corpo state nationalist. Corpo state nationalists are not Americans because King Bill, the Bill of Rights, fundamentally gets in the way of their program, which is to standardize the world so that they can move their goods and their services, which are designed to create humans rather than then serve humans better than, well make humans in their image rather than serve humans so that they could do so with the relative amount of e with as much uh, amount of ease as and 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 less expense as possible when you have to deal with multiple standards through multiple nation states and whatnot wow that can get very messy so they'd like to harmonize all that make it a lot easier for them this has to be a function of an american priority that's not an american priority at all but we are neighbor in the western hemisphere she said noting that she has been working with u.s ambassador to the u.n Linda Thomas Greenfield to obtain help from the international community. This is the ambassador to the UN, Linda Thomas Greenfield, in another story that I covered that in front of the UN basically told all of our enemies that America is basically a racist nation built upon white supremacism. That is our ambassador to the UN. That is not a woman who represents the United States of America. That is a woman who represents the corpo state nationalists who use fear and hate, and I'll say this over and over again, who use fear and hate to convince we the poor that we should hand over more of our freedoms, more of our liberties, more of our options over to them so that we could be saved by whatever devils that they have created in our minds to, to give us the fear that uh, causes us to turn to them rather than to say, Christ, turn to Christ. Christ rules through life, not death. And these people fundamentally rule through uh, death. Just like the, 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 the Pharisees, uh, plotted to kill Lazarus after Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead because anybody that can conquer death is fundamentally a threat to their well-being. That's who these people are. And I'll end this video there.